Podcast. It is your girl Mocha and I'm back at it again with another video and today I'm just gonna show you guys how I make my wholesale orders um, I have a new price list so if you guys are interested in getting some wholesale from me I can make you guys some bomb glosses for your business okay so prices will be And if you want to order for me, go straight to my site, mochapbeauty.com, and you can go ahead and get it there. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below what you want to see next. Part two of the promo video is on the way. It is being edited. Thank you guys so much. Keep watching. First, I'm going to start off by cleaning off my table. I'm going to use this surface cleaner that I got from Target. It's all natural, all vegan, and recyclable. Awesome for the environment. Next, I'm going to go ahead and use some 91% alcohol. It's a very strong alcohol. And I'm going to just put this all over my table and use another paper towel to wipe that up just for extra sterilization. So, obviously, you need a bowl. And I'm going to use this one because I am trying to reduce my waste and the styrofoam ones are very wasteful, you guys, so I'm going to use these. Next, I'm just lining up all of my lip gloss tubes just so it will be easier for me to fill them all up. And today, I'm going to be filling up 30 tubes. Um, my customer ordered 30 lip glosses. She ordered Iridesa and she ordered Chanel. What I'm going to do is do 15 Iridesa and then do 15 Chanel. Whoops, I'm so clumsy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> trying out these reusable gloves like I said trying to be less wasteful so I'm going to start out by pouring some lip gloss base into my bowl and I need quite a bit for the first 15 glosses now I'm adding my oils just to thin out the lip gloss base so it won't be thick and I'm just going to go ahead and mix 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 until it's no longer clumpy now I'm going to go ahead and add my flavoring drops I'm adding cotton candy flavoring now I'm adding the pigment that I use for Iridesa, and I'm just going to mix, 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 mix once again. Next, I'm going to go ahead and use a spoon to fill up my syringe. I love using a spoon to fill up the syringe because it just makes it so much easier. Just scoop the amount that you need and just let it fall down into the tube. Trust me, this way is the easiest way. I'm just filling up all of the lip gloss tubes.
Chanel. And this is what all the glosses look like when they are finished. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I wash my glosses. I'm just going to start off by running some warm water. I'm not going to run a lot like and um, make a bath. I'm just going to run a little bit. Then I'm going to insert my glosses into the sink. And I'm just going to, you know, move them around. Make sure they get nice and coated with the water. That way, um, all the Versagel and everything is getting rinsed off. Now, I'm going to take some Dawn antibacterial soap and I'm just going to squirt that all over the lip glosses um this is just gonna make sure there are no germs on it and it's gonna be the first initial cleaning of the glosses and i just rub that around and make sure they're clean taking some 91% alcohol and I'm just gonna put that all over the glosses as well. The higher the percentage of the alcohol, the stronger it will be. The alcohol is just gonna remove any excess lip gloss space that was left after I initially cleaned them with soap. Here are the Chanel glosses, super cute. And here are the iridescent glosses. Now here are all the glosses, I put them on a towel and let them air dry. For the box, I use a box from Half Price Boxes and I actually have to make it myself. So I just fold it over and tape it up with my tape gun. After I do that, I'm just gonna flip it over and fold down the flaps. It's pretty easy, honestly. Now I'm gonna take some tissue paper and I'm gonna put that inside of the box. I got this from Dollar Tree. Next, I'm going to go ahead and start layering the lip glosses in the box. Guys, these lip glosses are so, so, so pretty. I haven't used these silver tubes for myself yet, but I have used them for other wholesales. And when I tell you they are so cute, they are so cute. Like, look at them. But I just layer them all in here in no particular way. Next, I'm going to go ahead and add some light pink confetti because this just makes it look super, super cute. I don't know, like packaging is everything. Okay, I got to make sure my packaging is on point <laughs> and I started slacking, so we're back at it. Okay, now I'm going to use some dark pink confetti and put that on there as well. Just going to sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Just going to make that look all nice and cute. And now I'm going to add in my thank you cards. I actually got some new ones. They're <laughs> super, super cute. I'm going to get some new business cards as well. But I just put in a thank you card and a business card and wrap it all up. And that is how I package my wholesale lip gloss. And guys, that is how I make my wholesale glosses. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. 
Don't forget to order your wholesale today, okay? Yeah.